Hello everybody. Today we are going to take new Hello Unit 9. The title is Adventure. But before we start our new unit, let's revise Unit 8. Read and correct the underlined words. Number 1. How much people helped to build the bridge? Number 2. Selma is the more active girl. Number three, he is the good friend of mine. Number four, how long is it? It's 98 meters wide. I will give you one minute to think about the answers. So, number one is how many people? Number two, Selma is the most active girl. Number three, he is the best friend of mine. Number four, how wide is it? It's 98 meters wide. Another exercise, choose the correct word. Here, number one, what's your idea, opinion? Thought, think of doing sports every day. Number two, the opposite of quiet is dangerous, safe, nice, noisy. Number three, the temple is full of walls, columns, trees, garden. To cut its roof, they are made of stone. Number four, one of the most beautiful parts of the museum is the enter, entrance, entry, enters. Number five, Toka wants to take part in the school museum, competition, treasure. One minute to think about the answers. The first opinion. Number two, noisy. Three, columns. Number four, entrance. Number five, competition. Then let's start our unit and let's start with lesson one and two. Here, let's know some new words. The first word is diving and of course it's a water sport. In it, the swimmers goes down under water to look at sea animals. The second, rock climbing. Rock climbing. Here, it's a sport where sport where a person rides a bike on mountains. Sailing. Sailing. A sport where someone sail a boat or a yacht. Kayaking, kayaking, a sport where one or two persons travel in a narrow boat. Then we have zip lining, zip lining. It's a sport where a person slides along a metal wire between two high points. Trekking. A sport where a person walk for a long distance in the mountain or the countryside. Then we have wind surfing. Wind surfing. It's a sport where someone travels on water while standing on a board with a sail. Then we have some words like water sport, mountain sports, Argument, negotiate, negotiation, activities, article, scary, Bedouin, equipment, trip, journey. Then we have some words and opposites. Dangerous, save, start, finish, 
leave, arrive, carefully, carelessly. Then we have some famous places. The first place is Mount Catherine, Dahab, Sinai, Ain Kit, the Red Sea. Then we have some general notes on reading and listening. The first we have in and it comes before month or year. Like, his journey is going to start in April. And also we have on. It comes before date, any date or days of the week. We don't go to school on Friday. He's going to visit Mount Catherine on 13th of March. Then we have some compound nouns like water sports, team sports, mount, mountain sport, school, library, football match, show shop, shoe shop. Then we have scary and scared and you have to know the difference between them. Scary has the same meaning like frightening and it describes animals or things. For example, mountain biking looks scary. Yesterday I watched a movie, it was scary. Then we have scared and afraid, frightened. All of them have the same meaning and they describe persons. For example, Basim was scared when he saw the snake. Then we have the verb help. It's followed by object plus two plus infinitive. For example, I'm going to have a guide to help me to find the way. So here, to help me to find. Then you have to know the difference between arrive on, arrive at, and arrive in. I will give you three sentences. Please read them and try to tell me the difference or to know the difference between them. The first one, she arrived in Cairo at 7 p.m. Number two, she arrived at school late. Number three, I will arrive on next Saturday. So, it's clear in the first sentence here, she arrived in Cairo. So, in Cairo, Arrived in Surrey here is for towns, cities, or and countries. Number two, he arrived at school late, so arrive at for building. And the last one arrive on comes before time Saturday. So here arrive on is followed by time arrive at is followed by building or a small place arrive in is followed by cities towns and countries then we have here the verb negotiate and the noun negotiation for example mr hen is good at negotiation our president wants us to negotiate then we have the word equipment and all of you know that this word is uncountable noun and it takes as a singular form of the verb. For example, this equipment is so useful. Then we have the word plan and it can be verb and a noun. For example, he has planned to travel to France. My plan for this weekend is to go on a picnic in the country. Then we have it's plus adjective to infinitive. For example, it's important to eat fresh vegetables. We have some expressions and propositions. For example, here, look scary, look fun, look at, travel from, leave on, plan for the future, come home on, wake up in a tent, stay with. 
The best place to shop, sleep by a pool, there is no time, cook a meal, get the best idea. Then we have the verb go, and the verb go comes before some sports, like diving, go diving, go sailing, go windsurfing, go rock climbing, go camping, go mountain climbing, go to the mountain, go to the beach, go kayaking, go mountain biking, go zip lining, go trekking, go down the river, go on the boat. Then we have the verb play and it comes before some words like play football, play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, play squash. Then we have the verb do. It comes before cruddy, do cruddy, do boxing, do Judo. Then we have the grammar. Here we have going to for the future. I can use going to for or to talk about our plans for the future. Also, you have to know, for example, I'm going to try rock climbing. She's going to visit her granddad tomorrow. Also, we can use it for prediction when we have evidence. Look here, the clouds are dark, so it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Here, you have to look to add this to revise the form, the question, the negative form of going to. Then here, we have an exercise. I will give you one minute to read it. Then I will tell you the answers. Number one is done for you. I'm going to meet my friends after class. Would you like to join us? Number two, space, your brother, space, travel next week, yes, he's space. So, of course, the answer is, your brother going to travel next week, yes, he is. Number two, Alex is space, go to work today because he's sick. So, Alex isn't going to. Number four, Pop and Kathy, space, see a movie tonight. It starts at 7 o'clock. So, are going to. Space, you space, do your homework. Yes, I space. Are you going to do your homework? Yes, I am. We are too busy, so we are going to have lunch. Number seven. Space, you space, watch TV tonight. No, I space. So, are you going to watch? No, I'm not. I am not here. I am not. Number eight. Where are they going to stay when they visit Paris? Number nine, my classmates and I are going to have a test next Monday. We have to study. The last one, number 10, we are going, we are, what are you going to buy for your sister's birthday present? Then before we start, we start lesson three and four. Please open your book page number 22. Here we have some kinds of water of sports. For example, we have diving, kayaking, mountain biking, windsurfing, ziplining, trekking, sailing, and rock climbing. And we have some pictures. You have to tell me which are water sports and which are mountain sports. For example, number one, it's wind surfing and it's a water sport. Number two, sailing, it's also a water sport. Number three, diving, it's water, a water sport. Number four, rock climbing and it's 
a mountain sport. Number five, zip lining. And it's a mountain sport. Number six, it's mountain biking and it's a mountain sport. Number seven, kayaking and it's also a water sport. Number eight and the last one, trekking and it's a mountain sport. Then open page number 23. Here we have exercise one and two listening, so please leave them because we don't have the CD. Exercise number three, here we have uh, the email. I will give you one minute to skim it quickly because we have some questions. So read it quickly, please. Okay, number one, is Reem going to go trekking this afternoon? Yes, she is, and it's done for you. Number two, is she going to try rock climbing? No, she isn't. Number three, what is she going to try? She's going to try when surfing. She's going to try when surfing. Number four, what is she going to try tomorrow afternoon? She's going to go diving. Number five, is she going to go kayaking? Why and why not? So the answer is, no, she isn't, because there is no time. Okay, I want you to have a look in this box here. It's going to for the future. We use going to when we already know our plans for the future, as I told you. And the form is, I am going to visit Sinai. I'm not going to do anything scary. What's he, he's, what's he going to do? Are you going to try rock climbing? Yes, I am. And no, I am not. Then here, turn your page. Listen to. Here we have... Ahmed's plans. Please, I will give you a minute to read it quickly. Then, you have to answer this question. When is he going to climb Mount Catherine? When is he going to climb Mount Catherine? Okay, and please highlight the word that we've just taken. So, Ahmed, the answer, he's going to climb Mount Catherine on 1st of April. Then exercise two, we have some words and we have some sentences. You have to fill the gaps with these words. The first here we have 43, 500, April, camel, March, tent, year. And of course, number one is done for you and the answer is here so let's turn it to number two he's going to travel space kilometers so the answer is 500 number three he's going to sleep in a tent number four a camel is going to carry food and water number five the journey is going to take 43 days. Number six, his journey is going to start in 3rd of March. Number seven, it's going to finish in 15th of April. Then, page number 25. And here we have all the exercise of listening and we don't have the CD, so here Let's move to lesson three, but before we read this text, please, here, we have to know some words, lesson three and four, yes. We have dark clouds. The first word is dark clouds. Okay, so the weather, of course, is cloudy. And we have rain, the word rain, so the weather is rainy. 
storm, sunny, rocks, newspaper article, chap, stormy, plan, plain, plain, snowy, towel, Railway line Transport Postcard Eagle Enjoy Dry Presentation Fire Mirror Sunglasses Protect Top Wet Frightened and who can tell me the synonym of frightened, as I told you? Yes, scared or afraid. Here, excited. Terrible. Mistakes. Complete. Challenge. Return. Introduction. Type. Support. Then we have some nouns and adjectives here, Re rain, rainy, sun, sunny, cloud, cloudy, snow, snowy, storm, stormy, wind, windy, fog, foggy. Words and opposites. Top, dark, warm, early, east, up, wet. Of course, the opposite of top is bottom, dark, right, light, warm, cool, early, late, east, west, up, down, wet, dry. Then we have some important expressions and propositions. Do an activity. The top of the mountain. On the way down, fall over, sit by the fire, on time, put on a hat, leave on, return on, return to, protect from, get dressed, go on a trip, get cold, on holiday, ride on a camel, travel on the sea. Buy ship, keep warm, go around. Then we have the verb make and it comes before make a salad, make a cup of tea, make a mistake, make breakfast. And also we have the verb take, take a photo, take a challenge, take the ship back to. Then we have the grammar. We have the reflexive pronouns. And what's meant by reflexive pronouns? They are words that refer back to the subject of the sentence or clause. Again, they are words that refer back to the subject of the sentence or clause. And they, these words end in either self as in the singular form or selves as in the plural form. Here we have my self and it ends in self yourself himself herself it self ourselves and it's a plural form so it ends in selves your selves themselves then we have an exercise about this lesson Read and correct the underlying words. I made himself a cup of tea. A cat doesn't need a shower, it cleans herself. Mona cook himself a meal. The birds sleep in caves to protect itself from eagles. Ahmed bought itself a cold drink. So number one, I made myself. Number two, it cleans itself. 
Number three, Mona cooks herself. Number four, the birds sleep in caves to protect themselves. Number five, Ahmed bought itself. So the answer is himself. Before we start lesson five and six and seven, five, six and seven, let's open your book page number yes page number 26 here we have a postcard you have to read it and try to answer or to find the answer of this question which activity are they going to do tomorrow so the answer is zip lining they are going to go zip lining then here you have to read it again because we are going to answer these questions okay let's start number one is done for you Dahlia is on a holiday in South Africa number two at the start of the trek the weather was sunny Tamer hurt his leg. The weather tomorrow is going to be better. Number five, Dahlia go zip lining wants to. Then we have in this box here, we have some nouns and adjectives. Of course, rain, rainy, sun, sunny, and you have to double the last letter, double N, cloud, cloudy, wind windy snow snowy storm stormy fog foggy and you have to double the last letter g the letter g then please open page number 27 here we have exercise six and it's about the reflexive pronouns so we have some reflexive pronouns here herself himself, myself, ourselves, and yourself. Number one, we enjoyed ourselves when we went sailing. Sammy came out of the sea and dried himself with a towel. I made myself some salad for lunch. Number four, Maya taught herself to speak French. Number five, would you like to make yourself a cup of tea? then here this box about is about reflexive pronouns we use reflexive pronouns when the subject and object of the sentence are the same so they are they are really enjoying themselves where tamer hurt himself number seven is listening and we don't have the cd so leave it number eight now you have to answer this question using reflexive pronouns and the verbs in the box we have some verbs here like keep warm go to the dentist protect take a photo then number one is done for you let's read it why did Nater put on a hat he put on a hat to protect himself number two why did he do next he went to the dentist himself Number three, what did Fatma do? He, she took a photo herself. Number four, why did they set by the fire? Because they wanted to keep warm themselves. Then page number 28. Here we have something like a story and it's around the world in 80 days and we took it the last term, the previous term. Uh, it's about Phileas Fogg and you know that he was a precise man okay I want you to read to read this uh, to read this part and give me the answer which forms of transport did, did people use in 1872 cars planes ships or trains okay then here number two we have Phileas Fogg plans and you have to look 
at Phineas Fogg Plant and answer the following questions. One minute to look at his plan. Then number one is done for you. When is Phileas Fogg going to leave London? He is going to leave London on next on second October of October. Number two, how does it take to travel from London to Suez? It takes seven days. Number three, how is he going to travel across the USA by train? Number four, which which is the longest part of the journey? Of course, it's a journey from Japan to the USA because it takes 22 days. Number five, when is he going to return to London? He's going to return to London on 21st of December. Then here, this part, we have the, uh, the end of the story. So you have to read it quickly because we have an exercise here. So, number one is done for you. Phileas Fogg travels from to the UK by ship, so the USA. Number two, the weather is at sea is bad. Number three, Phileas Fogg arrives in London one day early or late early. He completes or doesn't complete his challenge on time, so he completes. Then, here, let's study or let's know some words. Listen five, six, and seven. The first word circle, important, suggestion, photo album, reply, idea, ending. S circle again. <laughs> Advantages. We have some important expressions and prepositions, like forms of transport. Good at. Give a presentation. Do sports. Put in order. I'm really excited. Look forward to. Stay with. By the beach, see you soon, have tennis lesson, plan for. Then we have the verb make, make notes, make suggestions, make a sentence, make a special present for, make a photo album, make a presentation then here you have to know making suggestion here let's plus infinitive for example let's go diving number two how or what about plus infinitive verb ing so how about how about playing volleyball why don't we plus infinitive so why don't we go surfing Shall we, plus infinitive, shall we go scuba diving? So here go infinitive. For responding, you have to use, we have positive response or negative. For the positive response, that's a good idea. Great idea. Okay, why not? Yes, let's do so. Okay, I agree. Negative response. No, thank you. I don't really feel like that. Maybe some other time. Sorry, I'm busy. I disagree. Please open your book, page number 29. And here it's listening, so you have to leave it because we don't have the CD. Then page number 9, listen, 6. Here, we have, you have to read this email. It's from Meher to Karim. 
because you are going to answer who is Kareem one minute to read it so Kareem is Meher's cousin Kareem is Meher's cousin number three here you have to read it again because we're going to put true and false in this exercise so I will give you one minute to read it number one is done for you Meher lives by the beach true number two Meher doesn't want to go swimming falls Number three, Meher and the cream can go and surfing or diving, true. Number four, Meher wants to make a special present for his granddad, true. Number five, Meher asks Kareem to find the photos of their friends, false. And here we have number four, you're going to write a reply to Meher's email that answers his questions. In what order can you put the following? Here we have from A to E. You have to put these sentences in order to write a reply to Meher's email. Of course, number one, you have to write an introduction saying that you're looking forward to visiting him. Number two, the time your train arrives. Number three, the activities that you would like to do. Number four, your ideas about granddad's present. Number five, an ending. An ending. So, we have page 31 here. We have reordered, uh, we, we have some letters and you have to form words from the letters to make weather words for example here the first windy the second storm and write it here nouns under nouns storm number three fog and it's a noun number four cloud and also it's a noun number five snow noun number four six sorry sunny and it's adjective seven rainy adjective eight foggy adjective then here exercise three you write the sentences using reflexive pronouns I made a cup of tea, number one is done for you. I made a cup of tea, the drink was for me. So I made myself a cup of tea. Number two, Omar took a photo, he was in the photo. So Omar took himself a photo. Number three, we bought a new book. The book was for us, so we bought ourselves a book. Number four, Mona drew a picture, she was in the picture, so Mona drew herself and complete the sentence. So, we finished the whole unit, okay, we finished unit nine, lesson one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, please study hard and answer your workbook, the uh, part of unit 9. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.